Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
So as you can see, it's it's taking its time. <laughs> so yeah, got this out of their fridge, and it looks a dark fella. The three foot long subway. Fair play. Right, well, I can say is it's drinkable. It's got a de damn decent head on it. All these companies do these sort of things to get you to walk in. Yeah, the wife says that about me sometimes as well, funnily enough. I don't know what she's about. Yeah, it's got a decent size head on it, as you can see. Look at that. Here we go. I might struggle getting in for 8 o'clock. I'm already on 7.51. So, I've got nine minutes. I hate being on a time, but uh, these things have to be done. Yes, yeah, you might as well call it Cluffy, aren't they, instead of Kibble? I have looked on, on Untapped at the reviews, and it's got some good reviews. It was like £2.30 for a half. Good evening, Steve. Been a while. How are you? Make some decent ice cream, wouldn't it? Could you imagine? Drinking ice cream, having an ice cream beer. Do you know, there's, there's marketing, there's marketing that people don't get. You see ice cream vans come around the streets. Why not a craft beer seller doing the same? Craft beer, um, rotating kegs all the time. You go up, you say, uh, Pint to this, pint to that, mate. You either take up your refillable cartons or you go up, get, get, you know, you're never going to get glass, you know, so don't even think about it. But, or take your glass, take your glass pints up, get him to pour you out. Jobs are good and you get to try new stuff without going out your house. That person gets to sell local breweries. You would, that would be bloody amazing. William will give the trophy, yeah, if they do win it. Wouldn't that be something, eh? Hey? And I'll tell you what, Kate is absolutely stunning, his wife. She's a true, you know, Meghan Markle, I'm not so keen on her, to be fair, but Kate is, she is amazing, you know. I'm the same, I've not been on much time, not much anyway, not as much as I usually am, that's for sure. Good evening, David. That IPA sounds nice. Razorback. Oh, bless you. What would be the ringtone for the craft beer van? That'd be something, wouldn't it? You know, that all these ding, 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 ding. You'd want something that you want something that shot somebody shouting beer, 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 beer. Something along them lines. Really got some bite on this. Some good ABV as well, bloody hell. Five and a half percent. I don't think it it may have been initially. But um yeah. Do you find that it's a lot harder to drink straight from a bottle? Because it is for me. I've really, really struggled. Cold, mate. Yeah, this is day well, it's actually day seven of a cold. Yeah, I'm a lot better than I was five days ago. <laughs> Tell me about it. But yeah, yeah, it's a cold. I'm coming out of it slowly. Uh, heads all right. It's just you just can hear it on me on me on my voice. It's been in the fridge. Yeah, it's been in the fridge for for about a week. I think it's been in the fridge since I actually did the. Um, hmm? Yeah, it's strange. It's been in the fridge since. I came back from Lincoln Green. I was going to do a, a review quite quite quick afterwards. Good evening, Dave. I 
So as you can see, nice dark ne neon black paw. No, he's inside. Yeah, he's, he's had a shit. He's had a couple of sh shits and he's gone inside. He's gone for a lie down. <laughs> um, neon black paw, off white head. Ooh, the nose. <sighs> I get a hint of chocolate and orange on the nose. And uh, your ex-wife loved the rabbit. Don't think it's the same sort of rabbit we're on about, but uh, there you go, way up. So I've just, just hit the sediment layer. So we'll leave the sediment layer there. Right, I've got about four minutes, four fucking minutes. I'll be steaming in four minutes. Nice, really smooth now. 5.5% the beer. The only one in, in existence, as far as I know. So, I'm drinking a bit of Lincoln Green history. I robbed it. No, I didn't rob it. Yeah, he said, oh, take that. And I'm like, oh, go on then. <laughs> as you do. Um, a bit of Lincoln Green brewing history here. So, thank you to Anthony, if you ever watch this. And thank you to Martin. It is Martin, isn't it? You know, I'm not looking at cunt and saying the wrong person's name. And it was a fantastic day out. Can't, reggae, can't wait to try Raggy's gold nail. Yep, and I've had my hair cut for the occasion. Yeah. Didn't want to look too old, as you do. And it's good to see the channel, people talking, without even watching the beer review, it's great. It's, that's, that, to me, is what, what the internet is about. It's more about interaction, more the interaction in the background is just as important as some bloke talking about beer. And that's how it should be with all this. I do wonder, you know, that does worry me that this could have been a collector's item, and I've just necked <coughs> a collector's item. And the guilt, because, uh, yeah, you know, you do worry, don't you? It does, it does. It's it's the source to all channels, interaction. Without that true interaction and community, you know, obviously it helps to see what you see on screen. For those of you who haven't checked yet, uh, go on to Kemp Beer Reviews last night to his, his late night Friday live get to the bit where harry and adam join the fray and there's a good hour to, to two hours of absolute piss taking going off they're both battered and um oh awesome bolton that would be awesome and uh it's hilarious yeah it's fucking hilarious pardon my french um Yeah, I've just put uh, homebrew juice wine on this afternoon. And uh, I've got a pint to brew to do in the next few days. I'm going to do two more juice wines in the next few in the next week or two. And, um, yeah, it is good, yeah. yeah. Not everybody comes in all the time. They flit, especially while the football's on, you know. And while we can all go out and live a bit of life, you, you understand that. I noticed that, Craig. Yeah. I noticed that you just left them to it and you were laughing in the background. <laughs> I'd have done the same. <laughs> I'd have been sitting there just pissing myself, laughing, and letting them to banter on camera. Comedy gold. Imperial Stout with Treacle. <sighs> that sounds nice. My alarm's just sounded. Yeah, that's the bollocking alarm. You think I'm joking? No, I've got about three minutes. Um, it's I'm doing something in the shed, hence why I'm not in the shed tonight. Uh, but it's but it's something for my um, channel. So, but uh, um, 
reasons aside, it's uh, it's, it's it's a secret, and uh, no, I can't show it on TV in any way, shape, or form. Black treacle and coffee stout. Oof, football's coming Rome, coming Rome, is it? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see tomorrow. I mean, I would class the Italians as favourites because of their um, their knowledge of big tournaments, but don't underestimate that the momentum behind England frightening. This taking the knee may not be agreed on, but worldwide it has gathered momentum. Right, eight oh one. Is anybody at the window? Can't see. Luckily enough, I've got the thing on the window, so nobody's looking out the window at the moment, going like that. Not yet, anyway. So I've got a couple of minutes. Jobs are good in. Yeah, I've got two. I've got. I'm going to add the spirits in the next couple of days to both those imperial kits in the shed, and then when they're done, that's it for the beer brewing for a little bit at least. Um, although I'm I'm looking to do a nice Belgian. Is it moving? That's a fucking knock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You never know. Although my 10-year-old is an absolute piss taker. Yeah, he's, he's evil to me. He's just like a mini version of me. I wasn't impressed with the brewing of the anthem. Only because I, I, would, I thought when our anthem comes on, we can make more, more, more noise than they can. Especially at Wembley in current situation what i would do if i'm at wembley tomorrow is it <laughs> if, if i fucking know chuff coughing here <coughs> if i'm at wembley tomorrow wembley tomorrow i'd sing that song that was sang last year at 2018 and uh, as soon as it comes on to the end you know like liverpool do with you'll never walk alone when 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 teams come to Anfield and hear that, they shit themselves. What we need to... Yeah, laser pants. What we need to do... No, laser pants are wrong as well, to be fair. What we need to do is start singing that song. Well, how does it go? Something like... Um, well, it was actually Vardy. In 2018, it was Vardy. It would now be Sterling. And it'd be like, Sterling's on fire. And then whatever is the rest of it. And you go on the internet and you hear that. Fucking hell, as a football fan, I'm pumped up as I'm hearing that. And uh, we sing that all the way through. Keep flipping from It's Coming Home all the way through to from one English song to another one. Yeah, booing's not, not great. It's not great. Mrs. Raggy. Mini Raggy was in the background, yes. He, he was, I was telling him to go away, yes. So, need to end this beer review. I'm about four minutes over the um, time barrier. <laughs> no, I, I don't agree with booing and I don't agree with pens. It just makes us look bad, you know. I do agree with us singing and really, really ramping up the singing. You know, 80,000 people singing <sighs> England songs and cheering on England. That scares the hell out of the, you know, the the other players, and it and it what it does it, it gives the boost to England that you just can't get normally. You get eighty thousand people singing your name, and you're in the atmosphere. You will play out of your skin. You know, it's it's all about psych, isn't it? Pushing you forward. I've watched wrestling, and you know, you get psyched on that, and <coughs> you know. They are the wrestling are very good for do, for doing all that. Maybe, but tomorrow night I'm on from six o'clock, and I don't know when it's going to finish. Yeah. 
70 pound a pop i'm not paying 70 pound for an england t-shirt right so a true rarity black shale from black shale kibble from lincoln green brewing company the last bottle as far as i know unless the unless the man who owns it as um has got one in his house 5.5 percent it was made for a competition as far as i know chocolate orange subtle chocolate orange on taste uh this is their craft beer range black white head really strong taste bitey still tastes good two years out of date just goes to show you don't take dates to heart yeah next year they're on, on about giving us a day off work next year not very proactive are they Whoa. That was nice. Um, at five. I reckon a good four point four point three out of five. Yeah, I'd say it was two years out of date. Two two years, four months past its best before. Still quite banging, and I don't believe the ABV is as weak as what it says it is. Um, but yeah. Looking forward to, to actually drinking the Raggy's Golden Ale. Yeah, sometime soon. Should be really interesting. Right, got to run. Thank you all for watching. And uh, see you soon. Thank you for the um, interaction. It's been amazing. Cheers, all. Cheers. Oh, God. I've had a meal. Bollocking time there. Five minutes overdue. Seven minutes, actually. Oh, well. I'll be good. Cheers.